Well, not exploring again today on the mountain bike. Just another beautiful day. Clear blue skies, sunshine is feeling wonderful. So I was up here the other day. I'm gonna go down and explore this forest road here. See how far it goes by this uh, cattle watering trough. I did get quite a few comments when I showed this in the last video. I failed to show this part of it. A lot of people were really concerned about little animals getting trapped in here. They usually include something like this here, a little ladder. So if a little squirrel or rodent or something was in there, you know, a little escape route, no floaters. Anyway, we're gonna get back on the bike. See what's down this road. Gosh, it is so pretty here. Up on this ridge line, a nice view here. Nothing but the sound of the wind blowing through the trees. Gosh, this is where it's at for me, guys. Well, it's another beautiful day in camp here. The sun is shining. It's warmed up quite a bit. We did get a couple little small snowstorms uh, the last week that just uh, were passing by. Snow didn't stick around much uh, at all. It just melted within a couple hours. And uh, yeah, just really enjoying this camp here, although it's gonna be time to move on pretty soon. Uh, I'm gonna get some lunch going here. Just wanna give a big shout out to Todd from Colorado. He showed up to the meetup in Quartzsite and uh, it was cool to hang out and chat with him. Super cool guy. And uh, he does some hunting up in Colorado and shared some um, deer meat and elk meat with me. He had got a deer and an elk and we grilled some up there as well as he gave me some frozen stuff to put in my freezer. So I've got some deer burger defrosted. I'm gonna to try to make a, a burger out of this. I'm gonna make a couple burgers. I have some pork sausage also that I'm gonna mix um, with some of this for one of the burgers and then do a little comparison and see what the straight, but I prefer more, the straight deer burger or the uh, mixed. So that is the plan. I'm gonna get my little charcoal grill set up and uh, have some lunch here. <laughs>
Okay, we got our burger patties made up. We've got one that's straight venison, and then the other one is mixed with pork sausage, about 50-50, maybe a little bit less uh, on the sausage. Uh, venison is known to be pretty lean. That's why some people mix it with a pork sausage. So I'm gonna try one of each, see how they taste. And uh, the meat looks really nice. Right on these burgers, I'm just gonna go with some mayo, mustard, a little fresh spinach, and onion. Yeah. Okay, toast up a couple buns. Okay, here we go. Dang, everything's smelling good. Okay, we've got our straight venison. I did season these up with salt, pepper, and just a little bit of chili powder. Age-old debate of how the ingredients should be put on the bun. I was always under the uh, theory that if you put your lettuce or greens down first, kind of keeps the grease from the burger seeping into the bottom bun. And then tomato or lettuce on top, or tomato and onion on top. Not a big fan of tomato on burgers. And we're going to call that one good. Straight venison with the pork mix there. Now for the taste test. Okay, since I'm going to be tasting both, I think I'm going to do the cut in half. In case I can't finish it all nice and done, that's for sure. Ah, oh, those toasted buns are going to be nice. That's looking nice and done as well. Okay, let's get a seat outside and try these. Okay, oh yeah. I don't know that I'll be able to finish both of these, but we'll have some leftovers for dinner. Okay, let's go in with the straight venison first. It would be this guy. Here we go. Dang. Okay, that's actually really good. It has really nice flavor. It's not like gamey at all. Definitely lean, which is nice. It definitely has a venison flavor. You can tell it's not beef for sure. Mmm, that's good. Okay, let's go in with the pork mix. This already, just looking at the cross section, can tell it's uh, got more fat in it. And of course, that's got a ton more flavor with the pork in there. Uh, greasier because of the pork fat. I would say I actually prefer the straight venison just to go for a genuine, um, you know, taste of what it's like to eat deer. Again, Todd, thank you so much, man. This is awesome. I've got 
the elk steaks that you gave me. He gave me some really nice elk steaks. And I think the red tube of frozen, that's ground elk. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but awesome, man. Thanks for the food. Mmm.